let us look at proposition number 98 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says the square on a first upper term of a medial straight line applied to a rational straight line produces a spread a second upper term. So let's see how to prove this. Let AB be a first upper term of a medial straight line and CD be a rational straight line. If the square on AB is applied to CD a rational straight line, then it will produce a breadth CF which will be a second upper. That is what the proposition is saying. So let BG be the NX to AB which implies AG and BG are medial straight lines commensurable in square only and AG by BG is a rational rectangle. Now to CD, we apply a parallelogram CH equal to the square on AG producing CK as the breadth. Then we again apply to KH which is equal to CD, a parallelogram KL equal to BG square, producing KM as the breadth. Now, AG square is equal to CH, BG square equal to KL, and they are medial, which implies AG square plus BG square, which is equal to CL, is also medial. Area CL is applied to a rational straight line CD with CM as breadth. So CM is rational and incommensurable in length with CD. CL is AG square plus BG square and AB square equal to C. And we know AG square plus BG square is equal to AB square plus two times AG by BG. So that means two times AG by BG is going to be equal to FL. Uh, 2 times AG by GB is going to be a rational area. That means FL is going to be rational. Why? Because we are, we know because it is a first upper term, we know AG by BG is a rational rectangle. That means 2 times of that is also going to be rational. Now FL is applied to CD, a rational producing FMS breadth. So again, FM is rational and commensurable in length with CD because they are both rational. CL is medial and FL is rational. That means C CL and FL are incommensurable. Now CL is to FL is equal to CM is to FM, which means CM is incommensurable in length with FM. So we can say CM and FM are rational straight lines commensurable in square only. So CM minus FM which is equal to CF is an epitome. Bisect FM at N and draw NO parallel to CD. So FO is equal to NL is equal to AG by BG. AG square is to AG by BG which is equal to AG by BG is to BG square. That means AG by BG is the mean proportional between AG square and BG square. And AG square is equal to CL, BG square equal to KL and AG by BG is equal to NL. How did we come to this? Because FL is 2 times AG by BG and N is the midpoint. That means NO divides FL into two equal parts. And FL is 2 times AG by BG. So, NL is going to be AG by BG. So, NL is also a mean proportional between CH and KL. Now, CH is to NL equal to NL is to KL. That is what mean proportional means. CH is to NL is equal to CK is to NM. And NL is to KL is equal to NM is to KM. So, using this proportionality, we can substitute this. So, we can say CK is to NM is equal to NM is to KM. And this can be written in this form. 
CK by KM is equal to NM square and NM square is nothing but one fourth of the square on FM. So FM square by four. So now we have CM and FM are two unequal straight lines. CK by KM is equal to FM square by four deficient by a square has been applied to the greater CM. Divides and that divides CM into commensurable parts CK and KM. Therefore, CM square is greater than FM square by the square on a straight line commensurable in length with CM. And FM, the NX is commensurable in length with CD set out. So we can say CM minus FM, which is equal to CF, is a second apatome, which is what we had to prove. So that is proposition number 98 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now. Bye.